the Association of Cashew Processors Ghana wants the government to completely ban the export of raw cashew nuts in the country. According to them, um, this will encourage the value addition of cashew nuts before exporting, which will in turn generate more foreign exchange for the country. A majority of local cashew processing companies have collapsed because of the commodity is simply not available to process. In 2015, local processing of raw cashew nuts into kennel fell significantly from 17,600 metric tons to 2,500 metric tons. This affected the operations of local processing companies. Consequently, government banned the export of raw cashew nuts in 2016 to help save the dying local companies. However, there were concerns about the ban by various stakeholders, explaining that Ghana is losing substantial foreign investment opportunities. Subsequently, the ban was lifted. But a report by the African Cashew Alliance says Ghana earns less than 40% in the export of raw cashew nuts. A metric ton of processed cashew nuts stands at $6,000 on the world market, while the same amount of raw cashew nuts cost below $2,000. The Association of Cashew Processors Ghana is not happy about the situation. The president of CPAG, Nee Smith, called on the government to consider banning the export of raw cashew or introduce prudent measures to ensure Ghana benefits adequately. It is only in Ghana, among the entire cashew producing countries in Africa, that has no tax or any sort of levy on the export of raw nuts. We therefore call on government as a matter of urgency to consider the imposition of appropriate taxes and levies on the raw nuts that leave our shores only to provide jobs for the importing countries. Meanwhile, the association says it has introduced a five-year development plan to provide the needed technical and financial support to players in the value chain to help improve the industry.